Welcome back to the stream. My name is Agro. We are going to be joined by other human beings very shortly, and we will experience more of the Team Fortress 2 goodness you've come to expect from this channel. That's enough for me. It's time to be talking to two human beings who are perfectly capable of talking for themselves. The first of whom you have seen in action. It is Cerny. Hello there. And welcome. Dolphin. Hello. Uh, it's very insulting that you call me a human, but I, I get it. Glad to be here once again for the third day, and I think this match is going to be really exciting. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, we're, we're looking at uh, a very dominant team thus far in the Greedy Gardeners, right? You know, everybody's talking about the man. You have JPEG basically leading that squad now, even though Grizzlyberry is supposed to be the team's leader. To round out the roster, you also have Taylor, Springy, Mr. What's-His-Face, and Pride. Yeah, of course, we had uh, Taylor and JPEG making huge plays for the past two days. Uh, on the other side, we have people known as Bonk Nicoltoon, uh, Chloe Mew, Captain Zapti, Zizatris, uh, ETC, on the team of... Hold on one second. Shining Sombreros. I'm not very good with my rolling R's, but Market Gardening's coming out on the pregame, so I'm excited to see what wackiness we have in store. Yeah, I mean, I would love to see some wacky stuff, because it is for charity after all. You can try out as much as you want later down the line, but yeah, I'd, I'd love to see some of the, the cool stuff. It is an open whitelist. They can do whatever the hell they wish to do, uh, whatever wacky hijinks that may be. I mean, people might use weapons that I've completely forgotten even exist, you know, like the reserve shooter, but, you know, it's, there's a golden pan going around. God knows where, where we're going to see it. I want to see some golden statues. We're getting started. Uh, let's see. How this is going to go? Yeah, I'm as I said, uh, looks like the Groovy Gardeners are going without a medic on this uh, rollout here. We have the demo rolling out with the Sticky Jumper going in deep. Let's see if he can get anything here. Going towards the choke, yeah. trying to do a few fights, but fails. Oh, a Grizzly yeah, getting the market yeah. guard, though, onto Captain, so he's going to equalize those demo men immediately. There, there's still a player down. We're going to be seeing the rest of Groovy Garden is coming in finally as well. ETC is going to get taken down, so players are kind of equal now, but Gotta not having a pride. medic is going to be a problem here. Pride does get the med, so that medic disadvantage is now out of the question. And JPEG and Pride are going to be cleaning up the last remaining players here. Taylor is also going to help out his scout friend there, and that's going to be essentially a wipe. Groovy Garden is taking the mid fight with both scouts running the force of nature. I do love it. I do love to see that weapon. Yeah, look out for the sentry gun actually coming up right next to the cake. Uh, don't, not sure if you can see that, but he's erecting a sentry gun, actually taunting right now. Hopefully he can move that gear up and find some picks. Maybe people trying to jump in, just getting caught out. Because I don't know about you, but I would not expect that play coming out. Yeah, I mean, who's going to expect just a level 2 sentry? on mid at this time it's it might very well work Grizzly's already jumping in again as well uh, he's not gonna nail the market guard this time around though he's gonna be cleaned up immediately after so you know strange of rivers are definitely gonna try to stay in this as best as they can obviously they're gonna be putting up fights here what's his face also not gonna get much done either jpeg's gonna get a nice little trade on well kill onto the scout there but along with his medic for the time being right nowhere near uber whatsoever and jpeg's just gonna hold back the entire team using the force of nature you love to see that yep finally getting that level three up as the sombreros are trying to push in mid uber's gonna be looking great for zapti here hopefully it doesn't drop to the sentry but looks like they spot it out see if they can spam it down from long range however captain with that sticky jumper uh, not going to be able to take that down. We have Mr. Banny, what's his face, jumping in, trying to get that bottle. But JPEG going in deep, trying to take down Zapti. And it looks like this is going to be a very, very passive fight here. Gun is going down, so the Sombreros might have a chance to take this mid fight. Yeah, I mean, they already lose a soldier up top there, but they immediately trade from right after. So, again, it's looking very good for them. Pride, obviously, finally being on the mid does mean that. Ruby Gardeners can stay in this fight a little bit longer. They do have the heals, but he's just going to drop his Uber Captain. A nice pipe onto the medic there. That's going to seal the deal for this mid. And uh, Shining Sombreros are going to take that and potentially even roll forward. We have both scouts from Ruby Gardeners hiding in PC. Uh, JPEG struggling a little bit to get up there. There you go. Um, 
And I mean, nobody's going that way. Spring they're is just also there. Just them. look. Yeah, they're just they're just looking. And uh, meanwhile, their demo is going to get picked off on second, and everybody's on second now. So. They're gonna run out to mid, they're gonna maybe try to get the back cap, but there's so much cap time stacked on second already, they're not gonna be able to do that. Yep, oh, we no. have uh, Springy trying to get in here, try to take him down, but the scouts coming back, finally, Groovy Gardner is getting their scouts in here, JPEG and Taylor TF trying to tag team, however, Taylor TF getting taken down, Bonk getting taken down by JPEG and that uh, force of nature trying to retreat into the IT here, we have the demo, Mr. What's-His-Face trying to you know, pipe some pills out there. JPEG might making it out here, not actually. And it looks like the Sombreros are gonna have full Uber to try to push into last. With what's yeah. his face jumping in there with the cable, unable to do anything with that. It was an attempt made, unfortunately, he's just gonna get right clicked by Chloe. Immediately sent it to Skybox, not much is gonna happen. And all of Sombreros just bunched up here in one. They're gonna use the Uber to finally get through, but they're not really getting much ground with it at all. They pick up Taylor on the sidelines and Grizzly as well, so at least they're getting some picks here. And if JPEG, yeah, he can't get onto the point in time at all, the fire's just gonna blast him away, and they take the first round for the Sombreros. Yeah, they had a, a really good Uber there. Sometimes it's not just about what you get during the Uber, it's your positioning after the Uber, and that's what won them that round. And it worked out really nicely for them. You love to see getting around on the board for the Sombreros. It looks like maybe at some point <laughs> the Gardeners are actually going to start trying harder. But for now, they're certainly having fun making this match a little bit more fair. You know, a little bit more even. Yeah, Taylor's already using stock again. So I think they've done the truce first round where everybody messes around. And now they're here to fight, Keep picking up Captain immediately and focusing down. Anybody else that they can, they're actually gonna lose Grizzly and Taylor and Springy. So the mid fight is very quickly turning in the favor of the Sombreros here. Sisa trying to fight the combo there, unfortunately, does not manage to get much done against JPEG and his medic. So JPEG, JPEG is actually just gonna going stay in. in. Yeah, uh, doesn't manage to get enough damage done. He's actually gonna cleaned up by Bonk as well. So a little overextended. An ambitious play didn't quite work out, unfortunately. Yep, Pride and Zapti nearing their Ubers. Mr. What's-His-Face trying to set some traps. Looks like both teams are just going to play it passive here. Going to wait until that Uber. And we have Bunk Nickel Tune trying to fight Mr. Ooh. what's his face Gets taken down just barely. And it looks like they're going to try to peek through this choke to uh, try to get some positioning, get some frags, get something to entry into the, this second point. I mean, obviously, Sewers is wide open right now, so if they want to send somebody in through there, it looks like Zisa's already on the trail for that one. They certainly have an opening there. Might meet JPEG on the way in, never mind. Both of them have decided that they don't want to go into Sewers after all. Chloe's going to be the one to at least peek it. They're really scared of going in there. Everybody on Sombreros is just bunched up in choke here, taking a lot of spam damage. Really having to back off now to try and do something, and Spring is already on the flank. He gets onto the medic. That's the a drop, drop out of Zapti. Beautifully done. He just waddles all the way through. Grizzly's there to back him up a little bit as well. And he's just going to push back these remaining players as his team floods in. Both scouts across the point already, waiting to just lay down their damage here. That full Uber is going to easily allow them to take a point. Zisa trying to just delay him a little bit, get onto the met, but unfortunately not dealing enough damage to take him down either. So they're just bleeding players out of the sombreros here now. Oh, oh man. Zapti is going to actually go down again. So that's a, a full wipe, a second death there. Pride did use his Uber, so at least they won't have one for last. But with Zisa being the first person to spawn here, the only person to spawn here, gonna go Engineer to see if she can do maybe something, but it's gonna be a tough one. Even with the mini sentry, you're not gonna have an easy time holding against this team. Z JPEG's already on the point, he's just gonna cap it out. There you go. Yep, that was very criti critical of them to try to push in there before they get the reinforcements. They were able to do that. We had the NG Zastris trying to set up that mini, but they just moved too quick for them. It's just not gonna work it. I mean, what can you do in that situation? Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Your team's gonna not spawn for five more seconds, so... It's a tough situation to be in, so that's gonna equalize the rounds with 22 minutes left. We still have anybody's game here as we're headed into our third mid-fight. A little bit of faster roll out there out of Captain. He's doing pretty well on those, but he's gonna get focused down by JPEG yet again. Already getting dominated by that man. That man is... JPEG's gonna start collecting doms again. I have a strange sensation. He's already up on two. But only one kill thus far on this mid, and Chloe's gonna respond by picking up Taylor. So, it's still anybody's game. Pride pretty much caught out here. Nobody to heal for a long time either, but still, not much is happening. ETC's gonna get taken down, but 
It's actually a lot of cap time coming out of the sombreros. Chloe doing a great job at just denying a lot of the spam and a lot of the players trying to get on the point with the pyro. Surprisingly, considering she's on like 100 ping, it's working out really well for them thus far. JPEG's gonna get cleaned up by that. That's uh, basically the most important player taken down on the Gardeners. Grizz is gonna jump the high ground, clean up that soldier. But still, it's just anybody's game. It's such a back and forth. It actually went on for so long that both buddies get their Ubers and pop them off way better out of pride. So, Gardeners are gonna have to take this mid with the Uber exchange while Taylor is already wrapped around in the back lines uh, and gets punched to death. By, by a melee weapon of some kind. I, I, was it the skull? It was the, the skull, skull thing? yeah. With the spine, the, the uh, I hate chocolate person in Spongebob, mm, you know? Right, right, yeah. Yeah, I, so I that. That, that mid fight went on way too long. I saw uh, some Braveheart's jumping above the point, then they would play passive, and the Gardeners would jump on the point. Uh, normally we would see maybe like the Quick Fix or Kritzkrieg popping on that long mid fight. We have Bonk coming in, trying to get that JPEG, Ooh. Mr. President, no, okay, I was so scared that he was going to get that melee out on the med, but we have Mr. Captain coming through this, trying to lay some pipe. Uh, we have Grizz trying to defend, but we have the oh. Sombreros pushing in so aggressive here, Pride and his team is going to have to back up. Yeah, they're just taking these fights, winning the exchange, like the little, the little fights where they can, taking, putting up those players that are overextended, and it's going to be easily for them to take midpoint here and i mean with that full uber as well pride obviously coming up on his own that advantage they have is going to be nullified unless they move extraordinarily quickly here which it doesn't look like they're very keen on doing demo's just exchanging a little bit of spam fruit choke here chloe's going to blast those stickies away but for the most part it's not going to do that much we have a little bit of a flank on or flank fight much rather in it here and it looks like it's currently going the way of the gardeners there that's the flank taken care of from sombreros and with two players down this is definitely something that I've seen the Gardeners move off of very well. They could just run forward here, take all all the ground that they need to, and meet, force the exchange. It's definitely going to be in the favor of them. Yeah, Another with kill that as well. uh, recent frag on Bonk Nickel Tune, they're going to be able to push through here. Gar Groovy Gardeners are able to. JPEG leading the fight. We have an early pop out of Zapti, and Pride is just sitting back, waiting for the right timing. Looks like going to take that in with JPEG. Should be popping soon. There he goes. And oh no, we have a what's his face dragging himself. I think that was yeah, a least, bucket sticky. At least he did manage to pick uh, the pyro up with it though. So you know it wasn't completely for nothing. Zisa trying to get the met there, unfortunately, won't quite work out. So even post Uber, they only lose Grizz and Mr. What's his face. They're not even going to cap out the point either. They're just going to leave that to Springy, who's now coming into the midpoint, and they're already on second. They're going to camp these forward spawners as best they can. Zapti. Uh, might be in a bit of a pain, painful world here. He's got Chloe to help him out a bit, but JPEG and Taylor are already on the chase. They've just completely focused on that mid. Taylor's gonna get taken care of, but ETC, he's gonna be in a little bit of pain here as well. Bonk, both scouts, JPEG wins these, so you gotta be careful. They also have the sniper out of Captain. Opting to not have the demo anymore, I mean, interesting choice, but if you want to have an impactful player, Captain is definitely the one. He's gonna be trying to see if he can get a cheeky shot off onto somebody here. He's gonna get Mr. Watts' face, so that's a, a crucial pick right there. You e immediately equalize those players, but Pride has already taken his his combo just through top there. JPEG's actually gonna get taken down. They're gonna get Springy as well. Hmm. Yeah, we saw that push coming out of IT. However, they might want it to uh, pause oh. there. Oh no, Pride dropping his team. He's gotta get out. Does have Taylor TF to save him there. Went down to about 20 HP, popping off. Taylor just still going in, saying, Pride, you get out, I'll get the med, but looks like he's not going to be able to get anything there. Against two soldiers in such an enclosed space, that's a very tough call to make, but obviously you got to admire the effort. Pride's just going to be met, met up back with his team here, JPEG and What's-His-Face. They're going to try to at least delay this cap for as long as possible, allow them to maybe... Maybe get a little better position. Zeus is going to jump in. Does not hit the crucial rockets, unfortunately. It's cleaned up before anything can happen to Pride. And they're going to hang on to their med here. Zapti up on his Uber very soon, though. They're going to have a pretty sizable advantage here. ETC is going to clean up What's-His-Face on the flank as well. So that's a crucial member missing. Obviously, you have JPEG still taking all the heals. I would not be surprised if he has more than 50% heals at the end of this match. <laughs> My man is hitting the beam very hard, and the Uber does come out of Zapti. They're gonna be using it to try to deny this point as best as possible. Chloe is just trying to milk shuffle shuffle people, I guess. I don't know. Butter shuffle. 
No, it, was, it probably wasn't a crit. I don't know. I saw a bee hopping, but it's ambitious. Let's say it like that. Yeah, there is that bug where even if you come back down from your explosive jump, you can still bee hop and get the market gardener crit. Uh, that middle play was amazing. They, uh, the groovy gardeners went into the mid, they fragged the sombreros, and they also forced while keeping their players alive. So Zapti was caught out while that uber ended, and the gardeners were able to take second off of that. Yeah, and I mean, they're already into loss as well, JPEG and his mid fighting Chloe and hers. And so far, I mean, JPEG has the superior movement, but the respawners are here. Two heavies actually coming out of the side of the of the sombreros here. I don't know if that's even legal. That's what we um, want to see. I'm not going to consult the rulebook. I'll just be like, that's lovely to see. There's no way, no, absolutely no way they're going to be able to just get onto this point. But nobody's watching it. So if somebody slips past, they could very well try to get at least a little bit of cap time here. Gardeners seem perfectly content with just waiting on second, cleaning up these players with overextent like Captain there. Zisa obviously also on the heavy. Gonna have to back up. You can't fight an entire team like that. You're gonna have to just protect the point and wait. And that's exactly what they're gonna be doing. Sitting that heavy on the point, a lot of uh, just, ca you know, protection out of it, but so much focus fire on the heavy and on the medic as well. Nobody's alive anymore. That's another yeah, round. We saw them pushing in before either team had uber so they seemed pretty cocky there pretty confident that they would get it based on their frags instead of trying to wait for ubers and taking that kind of gambler uh so they did really well with that push finally getting that second point here and on this mid fight we have two snipers actually coming out from the summer era, so we'll oh. see what they can do I like these doubling up strats because you're gonna be like, oh well, we killed one sniper. Surely it's dealt with. Oh, there Captain's it is. gonna get that huntsman there onto Taylor. Is. Chloe the piss rifle onto what's his face. So clearly, these Australian marksmen are working out very well right now for the sombreros. Two early picks with absolutely no fighting going down. Immediately, gardeners are just gonna have to back out of this in just instantaneously and give up the mid. Wonderfully done. Looks like those strats are definitely working. We love to see it. Yeah, we saw one of the snipers on the Huntsman, one of them on the Piss Rifle. A nice combination, nice switching it up there. Looks like they're going to have their Uber soon coming through here. Actually, uh, Springy trying to make a flank here, but he's going to get called out. And it looks like JPEG and Taylor TF are like the power couple of this tournament. Wherever Taylor is, JPEG is as well. And they just play off of each other so well. I mean, they have matching loadouts already, you know, so you gotta hand them that. They are definitely prepared for that, as it looks like Garden is actually gonna take the combo in through IT here and go for the exchange onto the point. But JPEG is just gonna clean up everybody that is not currently Uber to go with Taylor. That's two frags going their way already. Medic Zisa versus Medic, watch this, watch picking this. Picking up a kill, but... Oh, the Medics? Zafti looks like to be just cleaned up there with the rest of the team coming in. It's only Captain Zisa left. Captain on the Pyro is gonna be chasing Taylor, who can just outrun the Pyro. Doesn't even have to fight him technically, could just run away, but gonna opt for that instead. And Chloe's still up on the sniper. Get, Get that piss rifle kill, alright, you'll have to see it as she gets bombed immediately by Grizzly, who is already in second with his medic here. Trying to wreak a little bit of havoc, just, you know, get a little bit of. He can broaden, waiting for the rest of the team. JPEG's now gonna take the med in instead. Fighting two scouts. Keep your meds safe, buddy. Alright, I mean, Bonk's dead. There's another scout right there. Oh, actually, ETC getting that kill beautifully done. Zisa in as well to get some backup, and the rest of the team gonna clean up a uh, Grizz. So they're gonna hold onto that second for the time being. Yeah, I, I I see that Pride has actually really good positioning. He knows exactly when to get out. He can look forward, see oh the person I'm healing doesn't look like they're gonna make it out alive, but I want to make it out alive. So he knows exactly when to get out of there. Yeah, I mean, he's been he's been really playing well right now, and I mean, the Uber does come out, they're gonna take it in on Taylor. Uh, potentially, no, not even flash it, just keep it on Taylor the entire time. I mean, he's gonna pick up a couple of frags of his own, JPEG getting dropped in the Uber, though. Zapti getting taken down as well means that Uber being used there doesn't even matter at all. ETC is the only player left, and might well, he might win this fight against Taylor, he's gonna have to hightail out of there. Because against two other players that are being healed, it's gonna be a tough one to do. He might actually be able to pick up what's-his-face here. Nope. Walks into the sticky, so what's his face is going to be able to put a little bit more pressure on these spawners as well. Maybe allow his team to get a little bit of time, to just recollect themselves. But ultimately, he gets cleaned up, and Grizzly is just going to try to walk in. I mean, 
He's gonna get air blasted out of the point immediately, and JPEG can't do much against an entire team, especially if one of them is a heavy just standing on the point. The other one is a pyro right clicking everything. I think you should probably wait and then try to push together as a team, but that's just like, you know, it's just a, a hypothesis. I don't know if you actually have to do that. Yeah, I'm not sure if he knew that the heavy and pyro were there. Obviously, Pride and the team, they they usually like pushing to last before they have Uber, but with that heavy and pyro, I don't think they want to risk this. But they do have this 40% Uber advantage. It looks like they want to take it through Uber 1. No, never mind. They're rotating into lobby uh, very quickly here. But the longer they wait, the longer Zapti has to try and get his Uber himself. And if they don't use it quickly to try and get him, he could very well turn the tide of this fight very, very quickly if he just hides for long enough, which looks to be happening. I mean, they pick up what's his face, but that's, yeah, that's about it. Grizzly taken down as well, so they're just dropping players left and center. Chloe, the only player to go down from the defending side, and she just ran in to try and do something on the medic there. Bonk is going to try to do that as well. JPEG picking up a kill of himself, get cleaned up though, and Taylor's just going to run out his medic. So they're actually gonna live still, somehow, but that's a good hold out of the Sombreros there. They're not giving this one up without a fight. Yep, they tried to do that solo Uber into the last point. However, it doesn't look like that it worked. Grizz coming in onto Zapti. Zapti surfing out, that's really nice. Uh, Pride exactly knew how to get out of there on that last push. Uh, dodging the scouts, almost died, but looks like he was able to make it out. They are trying to prod into this last point, but I think we have another stalemate going on right now. Yeah, both teams are probably just going to be content waiting for the Ubers here. I mean, you don't want to push out a loss in this situation, especially if you're already around down. It is just far too risky. So the ball is entirely within the court of the Gardeners, and whenever they get their Uber, we might see them do something here as... Uh, the Sombreros just kind of, kind of just like you know, pr prepare themselves to see where they set themselves up for the hole here. They probably could have had time to build a sentry as well, but they're gonna be content with just having the heavy sitting near the point instead. And now that Pride has his Uber up, gonna be moving his team forward a little bit, maybe. Uh, they're gonna be, they're gonna be careful about it. I mean, Chloe in the lobby is definitely gonna deny some space for sure, and uh, maybe even get some of her team to come forward a little bit with her. Who knows? They can make use of some of this aggression, because they're going to have to try to get out of this somehow. They need a play of some kind, and it's not looking like anybody really wants to do it. Chloe is so, so far forward with such an easy pick here, technically. Spring is going to try to flank her, gets air blasted back, and just has to back out as well. Zisa is actually going to pick up Taylor on the side, and JPEG also gets cleaned up. That's both scouts down now for the Gardeners. This could be the opening that the Sombreros are looking for here, as the entire team immediately floods into lobby and just gets out onto second. Yeah, and everybody on the garden is just gonna give up second. They don't wanna take, they don't wanna take this fight at all. That is just far too risky, as they're gonna be perfectly content backing out to mid again. Yeah, screw Medic advantage. They, they had the Taylor and JPEG advantage there. Both the scouts coming in from Sombreros. Not gonna look like they're gonna get anything, but JPEG and Pride taking that Uber in there. And they're gonna be using it very early, actually. Zapti is gonna drop his Uber instead of using it, unfortunately. He just gets chased down by the scouts. That could have been very good for them if they'd actually used it, but with that drop now, this round is probably gonna be sealed for the Gardeners, and they're gonna be extending their lead. The captain, nice job actually juggling the scouts off the point there, but ultimately against an entire team. A soul soldier cannot do the job, and the Gardeners are gonna go up 3-1 to one with 8 minutes left. Interesting. Still a possibility. Yeah, I, I still have faith in them. There could be a, could be a comeback here, but it looks like the Groovy Gunner is going to have that stock sixes roll out. Actually, uh, we have Bonk Nickel Team going back to spawn, switching to sniper, see if he can get anything. We saw how successful the last mid fight was with two snipers. Yeah, I mean, certainly bring in some strats here to mix it up. Captain gets taken out early though. We have a very fast rollout. Unfortunately, all he meets is a wall of red players to just uh, completely destroy him. And Zisa also taken down. Now two players, three players missing for the, for the sombreros here. And uh, Bonk just can't even get the angles that he needs. He's just gonna have to run his medic out as, well, the scouts are already on the chase and it's not looking all that good for them. Zapti taken down and there goes Bonk as well. That's effectively a wipe on mid as they're already setting up on last, trying to see if they can hold it, because there's certainly 
certainly in a pain in a painful place right now with Bright up on his uber as well they're gonna be taking it in as quickly as they can looks like they're going through lobby again captain is hiding in a corner as engineer gets spotted out unfortunately and completely annihilated and uh yeah if you're the sombreros here you're gonna have to whip some miracles out of your head because there comes the uber and you're gonna be having a rough time two players dead already one of them being your medic Make that two more. Lots of cap time also already on the point. Bonk, the only player left alive. He's just going to get shredded down. And so that's like another quick round for our gardeners. I don't know what Captain is doing there because I, in my opinion, I think he could have built a level at least two. Yeah. And then he, he built a mini in a place that didn't even cover point. And then he went into lobby trying to go for a pick play as NG. But maybe he just, uh, he had a lot of faith in his Uncle Dane skills. Yeah, maybe he's had like a lot of faith into his team being able to back him up in, in that or is some crazy stuff happening. Maybe he didn't expect the entire team to go lobby. There's a lot of different brain stems that you could go follow. There's Jesus is going to be the first player to get taken down on this mid fight though. And the rest of the team is just completely bunched up in choker. They're getting spammed down. EDC is the next player to fall. It's just so far back. They have absolutely no position. They're going to get collapsed on if they don't make a move. Chloe is the next player to fall. Bonk gets taken out by a nice little pipe as well. And the team is just on the chase. Captain can't really protect his medic alone. And they effectively wipe on mid there. He did get a teleporter exit built though. So you never know, dude. That could make the difference. Nobody has spotted it yet. Okay, no, Mr. What's his face has found it. And he's sticking it off just in case somebody uses it. So, uh... Prepare for the funny teleporter kill as this team is probably just going to cap loss. I don't know. I mean, they're losing a couple of players in there. They use the Uber. I think they're just going to win this round. Uh, so they won't even get a chance for the teleporter play as it gets destroyed anyway. And yeah, that's going to seal the deal right there. Welcome to the 5-1. Do we still get to play one more round or five more minutes? Uh, yeah, we can, we still have another. I, I was mistaken the first day because I'm used to North America rules. But it looks like we're going to go for another round. Captain on that list, last mid-fight. Not sure why he went NG considering half the other team was explosive classes. So he didn't really get to accomplish much as we get into this mid-fight. Captain going in the air. Oh, he's actually got, he's got having a nice fast rollout yet again. My, my man is a jumper, as we can tell. He's actually already wrapping way behind as the rest of his team are fighting on mid. Nobody's died just yet, but Zapti's already dangerously low. He gets cleaned up by a crystal rocket of splash damage, and Bonk is just not landing these headshots he needs to, but there comes the flank out of Captain. He's already gotten three kills with it, one of them being the medic, so they've at least equalized that. And now with the player's advantage, they definitely have a decent shot here at taking this mid and maybe even rolling it forward a little bit more. Captain is already just in. He's so aggressive now. Two players caught out in sewer. He's gonna jump Grizzly on the point potentially. Uh, doesn't quite have the health to fight it though, so he's gonna just stay back. But they win the mid, and at least they stay within the game. Yeah, that was a perfect flank from Captain. Getting that medic, getting all those players, getting 3k, almost getting more. Cause on on after that uh, mid fight, the Groovy Gardeners, each of the players had less than like 80 HP. Looks like Pride is gonna take JPEG in through IT to try to contest this. Getting z and they're gonna just continue going. Yeah, they're actually gonna con continue just rolling this forward into mid. Already losing two players again, though. Great defense here out of the Sombreros, making sure to catch off some of the players. Well, losing a few of their own, but still, they definitely have a lot of damage down there. Captain almost getting the memes, but onto JPEG, unfortunately, doesn't quite hit it either. And that's gonna be the Gardeners taking the midpoint, but Chloe still wants to fight this. At least, you know, for a little bit. Zapti should really be back, trying to back out right now. Zisa, you can't do anything alone as a pirate. Come on. Yeah, okay. That's the, that's the wise decision. Just run for your life for the time being, my... For the love of God. What do you think you're doing? You're gonna just... You're gonna, you're gonna get yourself murdered. You're gonna get yourself assassinated by whatever is in that show. I try to deny a little bit with the air blast. Unfortunately, just complete out of position. The Uber comes in, and uh, they're just going to try to clean up any straggling players here as best they can. That's Bonk being the first one. JPEG's actually going to get nuked down by both scouts. I think that's the only way to even deal with that, man. And uh, looks like Sombrero's actually doing a decent job holding right now, but there's just so many players from the garden is flooding in. Chloe's pretty much the only player trying to fight this at all right now. While she can buy some time, we're distracted a little bit. The cap has been made, and that's going to put her team... A little bit of a disadvantage. She's still in though. She's still onto Pride as well, and actually gets that cap. kill very crucial. And the back cap is gonna get stunted by Bonk as well. What is going on right now? 
sure. Yeah, Bonk coming in with those two pipes, laying more pipe than my pool cleaner, but uh, pool boy. And Captain trying to get through this choke, Grizz trying to hold IT, Pride actually going down, so they're gonna have heal disadvantage coming, trying to trying to hold on to mid. Captain with the spoon. Ooh. Oh my god, Grizz going down to Captain You'll and love that to spoon. See it. That's a beautiful jump there through the choke. Gets the meme spoon. That's that's going in the folder. That one is absolutely ending up in the folder. As uh, well, the rest of his team can't really go off the back of it though, because they effectively trade it and they still find themselves in a rough position. They actually pick up Mr. What's his face. You know, ATC really taking the scout forward here. He's doing a lot of work, unfortunately, fighting against two of his kind. Isn't gonna work all that well. And now they find themselves in a precarious position with the entire team up in IT. They're gonna just get wrapped around Captain, the only player to even try and fight this. And, I mean, what can you do, right? This is probably just gonna be another round conversion as uh, Taylor wraps around, picks up the med already. It's uh, not looking all that good for the Sombreros. Zeus is gonna use the flog crits with absolutely nobody to actually use it on. And we already have the medic on the last one, getting a decent amount of cap time, actually. While well, the Sombreros hang on for now, I don't know for how long. Yeah, both of the teams seemed like they were split within two different areas, so nobody was really grouped together. Looks like the medic was trying to go with a back cap. However, I want to see actually Zyastris getting down there before popping crits. Grizz gonna go for this contest here. Gets completely melted by the scouts. Yeah, and uh, so does Springy as well. Again, just absolutely shut down. Does pick up one scout, but obviously it's not enough to deny the point. And it looks like the sombreros are gonna just sit on their second as we enter the last 30 seconds of the match which is absolute utter garbage time where everybody just does kind of whatever they want to i mean pride is already just looking to rock paper scissors on point before getting murdered by zapti that's a kill for the logs right there that's disrespect right there i mean you can do the do the rock paper scissors come on don't don't go for that easy spoon would have been it would have been a nice uh 50 50 you know you, you have a chance of winning or losing it doesn't matter at that point but it's just not gonna do that it's gonna go 5-1 for our Groovy Gardeners on process, do have another map to go right after this. Yeah. Yes, I'm very excited to be here on the second map of Bagel, watching uh, Groovy Gardeners versus Shining Sombreros. Actually, the players enjoying the jump pad, which is a very key and unique feature of this map. <laughs> Captain getting yeah. a pregame market gardener, so... Uh, Maybe we'll see some uh, jump pad shenanigans, Cerny. Uh, interesting to look at. Either way, the game is actually getting started. The players have decided that they want to play the game. Uh, the entirety of F Sombreros, not Sombreros, sorry, uh, Gardeners has renamed themselves to have J at the start of their name. Uh, you know, just to just to help with their, uh, their uh, you know, their little kind of collusion here. Yeah, the unity, the synergy. I, I couldn't look for the word for some reason. It eluded me. Either way, uh, the fight is on ongoing. So let's talk about the video game, shall we? As uh, oh we see, not goodness. much happening. Chloe's gonna get double dunked on the point. EDC's gonna pick up Pride though. So, you know, no medic again, out of the sight of the, the gardeners. They're just having fun with it as it goes. Only JPEG and Taylor, AKA Jailer. I might, I'm just gonna say the names of Jano, fuck it. I'll just, I'll just do that. That seems like uh, it's not gonna get confusing at all, <laughs> whatsoever. No, definitely not, as we've got the JPEG on the point right now, just using that soda popper and hopping around, being a little bit of an annoyance to the enemy team right now. Just going to be trying to get on to Bonk Nicholson, and he does get it. He's on a five kill streak already. How does this happen, Cerny? <laughs> he is going, popping off quite literally as he does pop off into the air, and he's going to be capping up that point for his team. And so I'm going to be looking for... At Pride, I saw him with a golden uh, frying pan, so hopefully we can see some golden frying pan kills. And it is going to be Captain going down to JPEG right now. JPEG on a six kill streak with that soda popper. He is doing work right now for his team, just being an nuisance, being everywhere he possibly can. And so this is going to be on Shining Sombreros to try and get back into this game right now. They are in this house area, so it looks like I'm going to be watching Zetris going behind it, taking down the mini sentry, what you like to see out of your spy, but he's going to be headshot, and it is going to be all of his team trying to collapse onto him. There, it is only one alive, and that is Jay Ayler TF trying to do whatever he can, doing that rocket jumper Mark Gardner combo, but he gets taken down by Von Nicholson. 
So really great plays right now from Shining Sombrero Cerny. They're they're hanging onto this point decently well. I mean, they've lost a little bit of time there, but they're they're, they're going to be holding this pretty easily. JPEG does pick up a nice kill onto the Chloe there. That's going to be all he's going to have to settle for for the time being, as Zeus is already walking in, just gun spying, trying to just shoot people down with the gun that Spy apparently has. I didn't know that. Well, Taylor is still trying his absolute hardest to try and get a meme spoon off. Not going to happen either, and the frags are just falling in the favor of the sombreros here. That's another frag onto what's his face there as well. JPEG is still wreaking a little bit of havoc on the right side here, but he doesn't have the medic to back him up. Instead, he's gonna try to kill the medic himself. And now that he can jump 15 quadrillion times at once, uh, he's gonna be a little bit harder to hit. Does eventually die, but you know, Cap didn't get finished. So it's gonna stay for the sombreros and they're gonna just keep hold of it for the time being. As we actually have a classic sniper. I, I did want to point that out sooner. We have a classic sniper out of Springy, uh, who just got taken down. So if he manages to explode somebody with that weapon, he has, he's basically already won. Like, it doesn't matter what <laughs> happens after that, if he gibs somebody with that weapon, that's all that matters. Taylor I... finally getting the meme spoon, alright. Alright. About time. Alright, yeah, great he job fished for that him. one. He did, he's going, he's jumping all around the map doing everything he can, just being a little bit of a distraction right now. He does manage to get out on super low HP, Chloe trying to pick him off, but he just jumps away as he can. Zestris taking down JPEG, etc. gonna be taking down Pride, and it is gonna be looking pretty good for Shining Sombreros. As I say that, he gets the pick, he gets the give, that is gonna be the classic sniper getting the pick, but the rest of his team does go down, so is it worth it? Yeah, it still is when he gets the pick. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Always. I mean, if you get to kill the classic, that's already better than anything else you could ever want to do. So, yeah, just some bros holding this, holding this point with a fair but iron fist right now. I mean, they lose Captain on the sidelines there, but I mean, you're dying to JPEG. That's not really like, you know, embarrassing or anything. It's to be expected as Taylor just absolutely destroys Chloe and it still manages to live as well. He's going to get out again as Springy's there to just maybe get. Oh, it doesn't quite get the shot onto the medic. And what's his face obviously doesn't get that kill either. ETC currently finding himself on a nice little nine kill streak uh, himself, so gonna have some fun with that, I assume. Uh, oh maybe he doesn't want to lose it yet. He's, he's playing very cautiously, and there you go. He has lost it, unfortunately. There's another classic snipe onto the point as well. Lots of cap time, but nobody really there to cap it out right now. Taylor's gonna try it with JPEG, and they're gonna get that timer rolling in their direction again. But there's only 19 seconds left for the Sombrero, so if they just recollect themselves here and get on that point again, they could very well close out the round. Oh my goodness, Mr. Uh, Mr. What's-His-Face coming in there oh with Oh my these. lord! Oh my god, then Taylor just coming in onto Zapti. So many amazing plays are being made right now, as Shining Sombrero is desperately trying to get onto this point. They are going to be taking on the Sentry Gun and Grizz, as it's also going to be JPEG going down to the Liberty Launcher. As ETC picking up the Sentry Gun again, ETC now finally taking down AITC Connect. And that is going to be the cap up from Shining Sombreros. And then the, the time is ticking down on their side. We hopefully, Gardeners get on the point right now. It is going to be uh, what's his face getting on there with the Scotsman Skull Cutter trying to charge in here. Taylor, what's his face going for the oh my He god. does get it. Oh my god, 30. <laughs> He can't keep getting away with it. He just really backs can. Zapti into a rock where he can't run away anymore and gets another easy meme spoon. So it's actually going to buy his team an opportunity to still cap out the point here. I mean, Grizz is trying to cap it out alone. ETC just defending it with his life and nobody else is around. What's his face? Way too far away. Fighting a spy until the end of time. And the first round is going to go the way of the Sombreros. Yeah, the Sombreros, you know, this bagel map favoring them a bit more. I'm not sure if it's just a uh, the off-class, you know, potential or just their uh, DM skills or... I'm not sure what it is, but obviously it's working for them, so hopefully I, I, they I think can the continue fact that Gardeners aren't using a medic is probably contributing a little bit. Just, just, a, just a tiny bit, you know, you'd think that having a heal advantage is probably pretty helpful a lot of the time. That being said, I did not see Zap to use an Uber once because he was always busy getting market gardens, so... <laughs> I guess that medic's not working out all that well, all things considered. However, three people have died for the Gardeners, so... Yeah, they're not really aggressing a point much right now. Mr. What's-His-Face is up on the heavy, actually, on this upside here. Uh, but he just gets completely danced upon by ETC. And that's essentially a wipe as Taylor and Pride are just now spawning. Trying to make their way to the point again as... 
Pride just gets market garden by Chloe now in turn. All right, everybody's just using the memes, but I think, I, I think if you were to like map the the weapons the soldiers have used throughout this entire tournament, at least. 90% of them are probably just all using the meme spoon. I, me included. I use it for most of the time as well. Now we just yes. see uh, Gardeners back in spawn, just, uh, I guess, doing Maybe a little bit of a, a strat talk? Oh! A conference? A, or a just mutual, kill binding? Uh, Alright. Yeah. It looks like they're having a little powwow. Maybe the powwow didn't go the way they wanted to. Some people are uh, deciding to uh, just kill bind and, you know, come up like the Phoenix. They're rising like the Phoenix. Faster stronger, better than ever. I think maybe uh, that's their strategy. Depending, or, uh, depending on which way they position themselves here, you could also maybe consider it as some form of ritual. Uh, maybe yeah. they're trying to summon some form of eldritch being uh, or anything else <laughs> to give them an edge in this match as uh, they're all dying of heart attacks outside of the oh. spawn and uh, JPEG literally got kicked from the server. So <laughs> this is the stage we're at right now as... Uh, <sighs> They're gonna all go heavy and oh. immediately just tear down everything. The red <laughs> army has arrived. The Uber comes out of the side of Zapti here, the though. Soviet but they still Union. they can't take him down. There's too many Russians, <laughs> and they're actually just gonna wipe the entirety of the sombreros, oh making their way to the point now. Slowly but surely, the Putas Brigade is what on their mean? way. What do you mean? They're Russian to the point. Them, uh, <laughs> yeah, that is gonna be the shining, or no, the, the gardeners right now on the all heavy lineup. I guess that is what they were trying to do with that a uh, kill blinding session. Gonna be um, six heavies right now, just gonna be all in oh, force five. right here. Well, five, oh, yeah, waiting for JPEG to rejoin the point, but it is gonna be all those heavies trying to do oh, whatever no. they can. <laughs> it could be Jay Taylor. <laughs> Oh my god. Did you watch you Taylor there? You did, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my that god. was beautiful. It I don't was. know if we, should, if we saw it on stream, but it was absolutely beautiful. The heavies are still just holding down this point. Uh, I mean, JPEG has opted to go with the engineer instead. And yeah, they're, they're definitely going to be holding down this point for a while. The Iron Curtain is quite literally being erected before our eyes right now. <laughs> ETC is going to try to maybe cap out this point. He does flip it in his favor. But you just have to wait. As soon as this, as soon as this team of Soviets comes back, what will you do against it? I mean, it looks like some of them are switching off. Uh, Grizzly can't quite decide. He decides, yeah, he's gonna stay on heavy. And gonna have JPEG on the soldier, and a little bit of, uh, you know, support out of everybody oh. dying. Yeah, once again, gonna be uh, doing a little bit of a. Uh... Uh, kill binding um, ritual right here. Hopefully, what class? Oh, I'll spy. Interesting. Mm -hmm. You know, the six man, the six man spy. Actually, six man spy one soldier meta. You know, you don't see it too often. But a, yeah, but the uh, soldiers think... AFK, so it actually does matter. <laughs> as the That's three true. spies have already been peed upon and are taken <laughs> down one after the other by a loose cannon. Uh, I feel like they're gonna have to go back to the back to the drawing board on this one. It looks like this strategy isn't gonna work out all that well in their favor. As Zisa might actually just backstab Gris here. All right, yeah. So that's gonna be another kill fall in favor of the sombreros. Uh, looks like this strategy didn't quite work out as the way they anticipated. Uh, but they do have Springy putting a lot of cap time on there, and JPEG is in as the soldier, so he can still very much flip this point in his favor. He's gonna pick up one kill onto Captain, but gets backstabbed by Zisa on the point. So. Yeah, again, a lot of cap time, and Mr. What's-His-Face is on the point uh, disguised, though. He's gonna have to get that off if he wants to have a chance of flipping the point here. ETC, not aware, looking for him, can't find him quite. He'll be looking for yeah. him, Zisa, trying to gun spiders as well, but against five spies, it's gonna be looking a little bit harder to do. Gonna get chased down by Pride, actually. Pride is on the prowl a little bit, and all these spies are just swarming the point. What do you do if you're ETC here? You just... You just die. I don't know. You just, that's you, all you, that you just die. That's oh, the God. only thing. Oh, Zistra's on a 5k as spy right now. Oh, Captain is also a spy. Oh, JPEG just hits that headshot, though. I mean, the spies against the spies is actually good, because you'll never know who you can trust. If your entire team is spies, an enemy spy certainly fits in a lot better. Uh, they have really the does. point for, for the time being, and uh, Chloe has opted to go Trollger as well, and JPEG. Oh, nice game on that buddy hop. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, that was a B hop. All right. I saw that. I saw that, Chloe. That's a, a good play out um, from there, you know. 
Uh, Gardner's doing whatever they can. Looks like they're still rocking the spy, unless they do another ritual session, which they yep, do. There you go. Once again, it looks like a uh, Grizz a little bit late to that ritual. So that should be the free cap up from a uh, the sombreros right now. Um, looks like they're going to be getting into position, actually running with a medic still. And I thought I saw EPC oh. building. Interesting. Speaking enough. of medic. Oh. Speaking of medic, uh, oh. we have six of them now. <laughs> Interesting. So. We have I, I feel extraordinarily bad for our observer right now, trying to make any sense of this mess whatsoever. Honestly, it's probably just easier in free cam at this point, if you're not already doing that. Um, the captain's gonna get one medic down, but there's five to go. It's not that huge of an advantage. Two down, four to go. And they're gonna be, they're gonna be fighting, they're feisty. I mean, they have an Uber already. Zapti probably getting like 15 saws throughout the entire thing. JPEG is actually just still fighting on the point. He gets one kill onto Zisa. Actually has an Uber to use to block the point a little bit. I mean, it's already in possession of the blue team, so it's not going to be working all that much. But you know, uh, interesting strategy. I want to see how they pull off this all medics game as uh, two of them get peed on. <laughs> Yes, you know, uh, they're going to be trying to go for those Uber Saws, just clustering around Captain right now. Captain getting Uber Saw oh. down by this medic um, posse right here, just rolling out in the storm all of these medics. That's going to be JPEG and taking down Bonk Nicholson, but uh, Zistra is going to be taking down J Pride. So if Uber does come out from one of the medics, I believe it's going to be coming out from J Taylor right now. JPEG going to be taking out Chloe. So, looks like this is uh, working out a bit better than any of the Gardeners, uh, you know, attempts before. Gonna be trying to take down the sentry gun right now, just, you know, fruitlessly trying to ubersaw it, but, you know, sentry's pretty resistant to that ubersaw melee attack. Captain gonna be taking down what his face, and there's only three medics alive. An interesting turn of it, which I never thought I'd say, but those three medics trying to do everything they can. Gonna be trying to take down Zestris, but Uber's popped out. Uber chaining. They can do anything they can. Oh. I know. Trying. Uber chain Cerny. Nope. There's the there's the crits out of the flog. I don't even know when Captain built that. I, I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that he was actually playing Pyro right now. I am trying my damnedest to make any sort of sense as to what is going on right now, and uh, it turns out that all medics has worked out the best thus far for. The gardeners here who are now performing another r satanic ritual of some kind and i am <laughs> i'm placing bets on they're all gonna spawn as pyros oh my I, god i was right oh my you're insane you're actually insane cerny you can tell the future because that is exactly what they did they are coming out on the all pyro uh brigade looks like they're doing all flog as well you know oh, matching no. it down to the <laughs> oh poor chloe poor zeus Oh my oh, god, Captain poor has everyone. his own crits, so they're gonna just have to rile tail it out of there if they don't want to get killed by him, but if they just keep him at bay with those scored shots, it's good enough to keep him at bay, and now this is where the real, real roasting happens. This is truly <laughs> Hell's Gates opening up beyond us. If you're ETC here, you're in a hurtful pain of world. Oh my lord. I mean, they have a sentry to at least the 90s pirates from moving all too far forward, but... Pride's gonna use his crits here. Chloe's gonna shoot down yeah. JPEG in the meantime, and then also Pride. All right, because he's, oh he's gonna just start hitting some of those shots. Uh, yeah. But we still have Springy, very far forward. Doesn't quite get the kills he needs to. And Grizzly, he's gonna try to maybe go for a little bit of a flank play here. He doesn't meet Captain and Traits. Oh, they killed right. themselves! Wow, the mutual dis assured destruction coming out from the pyros right now uh pretty interesting that is gonna be etc trying to melee his way through j taylor in what his face but zestris gonna be taken down with a nice headshot and so gonna be actually both uh chloe and zestris right now on the australian man that is gonna be springy trying to get in but gets taken down by the bonk nicholson uh engineer sentry gun extravaganza Doing a lot of work for his team that uh, Sentry good right now, but currently Gartners do have the point, even though they are very, only two of them alive. So that's going to be Jay Taylor, JPEG with Springy coming up. Actually, is that Zapti spawn camp thing? That is Zapti spawn uh, camp. Yeah, he is indeed just on demo man now. So they don't, they've given up the medic as well. They've forsaken it. This is truly just a pub now. Uh, 
and nobody's actually gonna walk out the front door. It turns out everybody was expecting that, and <laughs> Zapti gets roasted alive as the point closes out and goes 3 nil towards the sombreros here. So, uh, wow. wonderful. That, that is wonderful. You know, I'm, I'm just in awe of what I've seen today. I've, I've never seen anything quite like it, Surdy. Um, I'm surprised that Pride played everything, every single class, except for Engineer. But, you know, with all these logs, that is going to be a one-to-one -one with uh, Sombreros winning this one and Gardeners winning the previous map. Have we got a shout-out from you? Yes, I'm going to do a quick shout out to my uh, team, Minus Rep. Hopefully we can catch this uh, Grand Finals dub later today. But a, um, also just shout out to everyone you know working on this event. It's really great stuff you like to see, um, uh, you know, uh, supporting charity. And, you know, just a quick spoiler alert, special effect. They do really great stuff. So you got to pay attention for that interview. And uh, that's it for me. Nice. Thank you very much. Cerny, I'm not sure we're going to get a chance to be able to talk to you again. You've just done so much for us this, uh, this last weekend. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, any, any last shout outs from you? Oh, no, no, just thank you for having me. Obviously, it's been a blast uh, working with this event, casting games, playing games, uh, finding out that I'm actually not as rusty at TF2 as I would be after not playing for 15 months. It turns out this game is just like driving a bicycle. You don't really forget how to play after a uh, long time so that's nice now thank you very much guys for being here watching till the end like and sub to see more of our tf2 content and visit this playlist to get the rest of the tf connect 2020 shenanigans